The University of Calgary Dinos track and field team is headed to St. John, New Brunswick for the 2022 U Sports National Championships. Through a long and interrupted season, the team had many great showings at the Canada West Championships. While the men didn't have quite the season they did in 2022, the women had a strong third place finish with top performances coming from fourth year Osiremi Amosin and rookie Sienna McDonald. Amosin finished on top of the podium in weight throw and second in shot put and speaks on her performance as well as the team at Canada West. Um, overall, it was really good. I'm happy to come away with the win in weight throw. I was hoping that it would go a little bit better, maybe get some more distance there, maybe PB, but otherwise very happy. I think we did a really good job, especially on the girls' side. And a lot of people like scored points, got medals, and so that was super exciting to see. And then see like rookies like Sienna do super well, or like my teammate Kayla, who came to her first Can West and scored four points. That was phenomenal, phenomenal to see on the, the girls' side there. Rookie Sienna McDonald had a big showing at her first Canada West Championships, claiming gold in the pentathlon, along with two silver medals in long jump and hurdles as individual events. Her performances inspired many teammates and she speaks on her first Can West as a dino. Um, overall, I think it went pretty well. I mean, I did my best. A couple PBs, which was really nice. The hurdles PB was pretty big, considering that uh, the last time I ran, it was like 8.59. 8.56 is a good PB. While the men fell short of the podium as a team this season, standout performances came from a combination of Brent Steven and Eric Lutz. Both were the only individual medalists for the men, with Lutz claiming double gold in the 1000 and the 1500 along with a new Canada West record in the 15. Lutz speaks on his own performance as well as the men's team performance this season. Um, I think I performed quite well. It was a, it was a good test for uh, you know getting into a competitive race and seeing how I responded. So uh, no, I think it went really well. It was great to be out racing again. I think we did well. I think we have a lot of strong performers up top. Um, and I think, you know, again, we're maybe not the men's team we were the year prior, but I think overall, um, everyone came out and did what the, they could and did the best that they could. So I think we're strong. Well, this wasn't her first time at Can West. Former Dino, two time Olympian, and now head coach Jessica Zelinka took on championships as the team's head for the first time. She looks back at her first championship meet as a head coach. It's been neat. I haven't been around before this year to see all the work that the athletes have been putting in and all the missed opportunities leading into this year. You know, all the cancellations, all the disruptions. So I'm here during the time where everyone gets to step back on the track and perform and see where they're at. And it's been a year of just remembering how to compete again and having fun, a lot of having fun and just being excited we can compete without COVID inter interfering with our season. So it's been really rewarding to be a part of that and trying to support the team to get some good results again since it's been a couple of years. I think she's been great. She's been really transparent. She communicates really well with all her athletes and I personally think she's done a great job bringing this team to where it is um, going into youth sports. So no, overall I think um, yeah, I'm really impressed with how she's led our team and. Um, brought it back from where we were before. U Sports Nationals begins March 31st to April 2nd and it will be broadcasted on CBC Sports.